my gosh it has been such a long time coming i've been trying to make youtube videos for you guys forever but i just had to get my life i had to follow some dreams real fast i had to um make some new relationships and new friendships and i had to live my life in order to give you guys some content to talk about so i'm just gonna jump right into it like why well, i have this long intro today i want to talk to you guys about friendships especially when it comes to female friendships because this is a topic that's been coming up a lot in my life as of recently i remember seeing all these memes one time on um well not even one time it's all over talking about how girls are usually like yeah i like to hang with guys because i just don't get along with girls right and they'll be like oh yeah you like to mm, hang around with guys but no, like for real like it's a real thing somehow i always found myself being in a friendship with two guys like I was always in these two guy friendships like no matter how old I was there were always two guys that I was like really close with right um, and it was never the same two guys like for each period of my life it was always a, a two new guys right or two new male friends but I would learn so much for them like I remember one time um, one of them had taught me a very 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 important lesson which is never let a guy get the slightest ounce slightest ounce of hope thinking that he's gonna get into your pants just don't give like even if you are gonna have sex with him and you just don't know when like just don't let them know that it's gonna happen eventually because they'll just treat you well until you're able until they're able to get what they need and then they'll dip i think that that's so crazy but that's why you need guy friends so that you can learn things like that i digress anyways but when it comes to females it seems like especially with like dynamic women that i've met um or at the meeting recently or have been interacting with recently they always say that they just don't get along with females like something always goes wrong in the friendship and i feel the same way i i kind of became like um anti-female friendships not not on purpose though like i've always wanted a sister i've always wanted a sisterhood i've always wanted close female best friends and every time i tried it just freaking flopped it became so bad to the point where it was like i want it to be me like i hope i'm the problem so at least i can fix it because if it's other people i can't fix other people's problems but if it's me if it's my problem i can fix it i like fixing my problems i realized that really sometimes in life you just have a connection with somebody and then eventually the connection becomes a disconnect. That's what I learned from Deepak Chopra. He says when you meet somebody, it's either an automatic connection or it's an automatic disconnection. And that's okay. The problem is that when there's an automatic disconnection, we still try to force it so hard. But as of recently, I just told myself, I want to meet a female who gets me. Or a friend in general who just gets me. Doesn't matter what their sex is, just gets me, right? Like knows me. But in order for them to get me, I have to be myself 100%. And I don't know if you guys are like this, but do you feel like sometimes when you're in a friendship with somebody, you have to kind of tone down your light because you don't want to make them feel overwhelmed or less than or whatever the case may be? Well, that was me for a lot of friendships. I just toned down my light. I turned down my bigness. I turned down my allotness just because I wanted to make them feel comfortable with themselves. That's not a friendship. Stop toning down your light. I, I'm not, I'm done. My light, look at this glow. The glow is because I'm letting my light shine. My point is that those aren't the kind of friendships you need. If you feel like you have to tone yourself down in a friendship, that's not the kind of friendship you need. You need the type of friendship where you could be yourself at 10, like at an all time 10, and your friends love you regardless. You might even get on their nerves, but they still love you. That's where I'm trying to be at. I'm trying to be at a place where I love people the way I want them to love me. So I feel like I've been loving with conditions, right? Oh God, I just wanna make so many videos. I'm gonna get back to that. But my point is you really have to love people for who they are and for where they're at. And I think that at this point in our lives with females, and this has been happening ever since I was younger, honestly, um, you just have to love women for who they are. And then when the disconnection happens between you and your female friend, accept it. Cause when we fight the disconnection, that's when it gets drama. In conclusion, my point is that as soon as I decided and made the very uh, prominent decision to be myself unapologetically, over this last week I have been around so, and I just, I literally just made this decision like six days ago. I have been in the presence of such beautiful spirits. No, seriously guys, like I catch myself sometimes around these people saying like, are you, like, are we the same? Like, well, how are we on the same wavelength? Like, I didn't think that this existed. And I believe that that's fully because at the same time, we just like simultaneously decided without even communicating to be ourselves. And then that led me to these beautiful women. 
So my point is, y'all, the more that you practice loving yourself and the more that you focus on being yourself unapologetically, the more the right people will come. So maybe you were just in a transition in life and that's why those friendships weren't working for you. Same for me. Maybe I was just in the transitional period and the people who stick through that transitional period or the people who meet you at the end, those are the people that are meant to be in your life. And the people who don't make it through, it's okay. No judgment, no love lost. But also you have to love yourself enough to know that they don't deserve to be in your life anymore. So here's the positive friendships with women. I have faith. After this week, I have so much faith. All you got to do is just keep loving ourselves, y'all. That's, that's, that's the secret. Love yourself and beautiful people will be in your life. So stay tuned for my videos. I'm so excited to be back.